Hi, and welcome to this introduction of our collaboration product. In this video, we'll take a look at how organizations are embracing the power of actionable analytics in ClickSense and discuss the most popular capabilities from Vislib Teamwork, Writeback Table, and Input Form that makes up what we call Vislib Collaboration. Vislib Teamwork allows employees to communicate data insights securely inside ClickSense apps to gain more insights and share knowledge within the team. Comments can be made on any charts, both native and extensions, or on a separate commentary box that can be added on the sheet to facilitate a team-wide data conversation in ClickSense. When comments are added, they are connected to the data through bookmarks to give each comment the correct context. Clicking on this icon will allow you to see the same selections as the person that commented. You can also pull chart snapshots into the conversation to keep everyone in the loop and enjoy seamless collaboration. Comments can be enhanced using GIFs to let people know how you really feel. And of course, you can also use the regular set of emojis to hammer in your point. To trigger an interaction with other stakeholders, all comments, including the chart snapshots, can be shared using Microsoft Teams, Slack, or email. Don't worry, you can lock things down to certain domains so data doesn't leave your organization. Also, comments and snapshots to external tools contain a handy link back to the app that highlights the selections related to the comment to provide context. Or you can simply mention someone in the text to let them know where to take a closer look. All comments can be categorized and color coded to make it easier to sort through and find certain type of comment. Workflows can also be managed in a simple approval process to allow more control on comments. The Visited Brightback table is the key to many new use cases for ClickSense. Since Click is already the place where data is analyzed, why not use the same tool to store new data? Here are some examples. Analyze production delay and enrich the information you have with more details. Add things like who was working, and what was the reason for the delay. Make adjustments to your data by adding extra transactions. In this example for finance data, but could of course be anything. For finance, we can also use the write back table to keep track of report structures instead of doing that in separate files. The use cases for Vislib input form are similar, but typically used for one record at a time rather than multiple rows. One example is this form where data is picked up from the data model and then enriched with more details to provide feedback for a salesperson. Advanced simulations can be made in real time when using the input form to update variables. You can also use the input form for simple surveys like this one. And of course, you can use both extensions together. This example shows how input form and writeback table are used to handle a section access solution. Input new users, update existing users, or simply delete those that have left. For details and full examples, check out our demo app gallery. Thanks for listening and don't forget to follow us on social media.